I'm Javier Garcia, a chairman of the Department of Anesthesia, Critical Care and Pain of the Puerta de Hierro University Hospital, Madrid, Spain. I'm very happy to be here to present these uh, videos. My background mainly is in both sides, critical care and anesthesia, and in both sides, pediatric and adults. Now we are going to see in a live real model uh, all these effects. The first thing we are going to, to show is the effect of an increased beep in, uh, in a step of five without any previous record maneuvers and then the basal situation. So we are going to go from zero to five, then to 10 and then to 15. And we are going to compare the effect on both sides in uh, hemodynamics and in the respiratory side. So with these analytics tools, we can, um, at the same time, in the same moment, we can analyze the effect in both sides. So here we can, we have choose the arterial blood mean pressure, pulmonary uh, mean airway, pr um, pulmonary uh, arterial pressure, central venous pressure, PEEP, dynamic compliance, anti CO2, saturation, and PPV uh, and PVI. So as you can see here at the beginning, we here we are in PEEP of, of, of zero, here we have it, and then we have measured the PPV and PVI, and PVI is 15, PPV of six. If you go for a PEEP of uh, five, you see immediately the effect of PPV and PVI with an increasing of both parameters. If we keep going, uh, increasing the PEEP to 10, as you can see here, the measure, the, PV, PV, uh, P, the PPV and PVI is increasing again. But if you go for 15 of uh, PEEP, here we have it, there is a specific phenomenon. They start to create a hemodynamic repercussion, so uh, mean arterial pressure is going down, and at the same time, pulmonary uh, arterial uh, mean pressure is going up. As because it's creating pulmonary increase in, in resistance. So the uh, uh, after load of the right ventricle is increasing. So that's why uh, PPV, instead to keep going, is reduction a little. So we have to make uh, this kind of uh, uh, diagnose with that with this tool is quite easy because you can see perfectly at the same time, the same moment, how PPV, if the art mean uh, arterial pressure is going down, and pulmonary arterial pressure is going up, is creating uh, like a minimum uh, core pulmonary. So it's creating an increase in pulmonary resistance. Now we have uh, created a clinical model for distress. And I want to show you and, and fix how, how well you can see the effect on the hemodynamic side. Remember that the yellow area is the pulmonary artery measure. And the red area, is the uh, arterial blood pressure. As you can see here with this model, uh, after we create this model, the pulmonary uh, pressure is going up. So whenever you are working with a distress syndrome, even if you cannot measure with a swan and catheter the pressure, think about the situation that uh, now is basal, so the patient is not recruited, is not set at PEEP. So whenever people is thinking about, oh, recruit maneuvers in distress syndrome is very bad, PEEP is very bad. You see the situation. Now we don't have PEEP, PEEP of zero. As you can see here, PEEP of zero. And in this situation, with a lot of collapse and a lot of hypoxic pulmonary vasoconstrictions, here you, you see the effect. This effect that people think that it's only physiology in the book of physiology, here you have the pulmonary uh, uh, hypoxic pulmonary vasoconstriction. The pulmonary hypoxic vasoconstriction close all the capillaries and what they are doing is increasing the pulmonary pressure. And this is very bad for the right ventricular function. So not, even not setting PEEP, even not recruit uh, the lungs, can create a huge hemodynamic repercussion in the right ventricular function. And now we are going to go to see the effect of the famous PIP. So we are going to increase the PIP of in five and see what happened. Now we have changed the PIP from zero to five. You can see it here. And as you can see here, this doesn't 
change the situation in the pulmonary sites. So the pulmonary resistance are very high, still very high, and a PEEP of 5 is not going to solve anything at all. And blood pressure is exactly the same area, and pulmonary, uh, is exactly, pulmonary pressure is still high. So no matter the PEEP you use, if you don't recruit the lungs before, you are not going to see how can you reverse all this situation. So setting a PEEP, no matter the value you give before a recruit maneuver, is not going to solve the hemodynamic repercussion of the stress syndrome. Well, now we are going to see the uh, hemodynamics effects of simple uh, uh, different amount of PEEP, but now in a hypovolemic, in a hypovolemic alive model. So as you can see here, it's very clear how when you increase PEEP in a step of five from zero, five, 10, 15, see how PVI is going up, going up, going up, and PPV is increasing. And only with a PEEP of 10, only with a PEEP of 10, PPV, PPV increased up to 53, and PVI up to 37. So with only a PEEP of 10, that the same uh, model uh, in normal volemic situation don't have any, any kind of effect. So as we said at the beginning, uh, exactly the same parameters of PIP, exactly the same amount of recruit maneuver, the same parameters, inspiratory time, inspiratory time, all this tidal volume, all the same. If the patient is hypovolemic, normal volemic, the effects are totally different. From not, don't have a, almost any effect, uh, to have an important uh, effect. Even here, see how the, the blood pressure is going down. And just remember, the other important side is right ventricular function. If right ventricular function is normal, then the effect of, of uh, uh, mechanical ventilation uh, can be not, not that much. But if the right ventricular function is very, very low, uh, mechanical ventilation is going to improve the situation. So really, um, uh, it's, it's a situ very complicated situation that we have to measure, and it's very important to have all these kind of tools, because as you can see, uh, a, a small changes in PEEP, a small changes in the respiratory rate, or, the, or a simple recruit maneuver, can have totally different hemodynamic effect. Now, uh, finally, we are going to see the effect in a real clinical model. Uh, that is a patient is hypovolemic and we uh, put, we, we get fluids and we restabilize the normal volemic situation, see all the effect and how with the same PEEP everything changed totally. So as you can see here, uh, when the patient was totally hypovolemic, PVI reached up to 40 and PPV is out of a scale, reached 53. If we give fluids and normalize the volemia, See how the PV, PPV reduced from 53 to 12, and PVI reduced from 40 to 11. And that's the good reason to have all these kind of tools, that uh, a, clinical, a critical patient in the intensive care can, under mechanical ventilation can change hemodynamics drastically from one hour to another. And you need tools to really guide your uh, um, settings and especially what are the, cl the good clinical um, decision for the patient in each moment. Thank you so much.